So I am Ananya. I'm the daughter of a forest, former forest officer. So growing up in the forests of India, we spend more time exploring and learning from the mega biodiversity hotspots of the country than being at school. But I did do well at school as well. <laughs> and I did the wilderness and the exposure to the green gave us sort of a deep connect, which expanded into me pursuing a PhD in terrestrial carbon cycle, climate change and terrestrial carbon cycle from one of the premier institutes of the world, Indian, Indian Institute of Science. And after that, I'm now currently working. Next, next. So this is, this, these were the slides that I wanted to show you of me growing up in the wild and with the elephants, <laughs> wild and free, and yet doing well in academia. And next one, please. Then I did my PhD, and then now, currently, I work with UNESCO's Research Institute based out of Delhi. It's called UNESCO MGIEP on Education for Sustainable Development, SDG 4.7. That's what I work on. I'm also a meditation trainer with the Heartfulness Institute. Heartfulness is a simple and subtle meditation system that helps to deal with one of the most potent and the most dangerous kind of pollution, I think that's at the base of all other kinds of pollution, that is the thought pollution. Thought pollution, which is existing on our planet, I feel is the solution also, to, if we deal with it, to all other kinds of pollution that we are talking about in this arena, in this era. So Heartfulness Institute has its presence in 140 countries across the world with its headquarters at Kanha Shantivanam. Next one. In the outskirts of Hyderabad, a city in India. And Kanha Shantivanam is also the birthplace of Forest by Heartfulness, a unique greening initiative of the Heartfulness Institute. And I have been a part of this team for more than four years now. Kanha Shantivanam is a 1,500 acre campus that was an agricultural fallow land. And right now it is a magical green oasis. And a short video of the Kana Shantivanam. I'd like Beatrice to play the video, please. I have this one particular graph which uh, shows um, the CO2 variations over the past 400,000 years. So the, the CO2 variations are uh, like a ECG, you know, it just keeps going up and down, up and down. And then suddenly there's this last 150, 200 years, like a tiny period of time where it goes like woof off the charts. You know, you, you, you might as well think that it's a glitch. While the situation may seem grim, but satellite imagery shows that there is enough place on Earth to plant one trillion additional trees. These can sequester enough carbon dioxide to keep climate change under control. Forests by Heartfulness is an initiative of the Heartfulness Institute to nurture, protect and conserve endangered ecosystems and encourage biodiversity. Interventions initiated by Forests by Heartfulness do not start with planting trees, but begin by first addressing the irrigation needs of the land. The focus then shifts to nurturing the soil where the trees are to be planted. After the irrigation and soil requirements are managed, expertise is also needed in choosing the tree species to be planted. They all say grow trees, grow plants. What to grow? Uh, there is hardly any information. At least as a thumb root, you grow indigenous plant species. Forests by Heartfulness is nurturing saplings of indigenous species at 18 sites across India. Once the tree species have been identified, how to plant them also needs expert guidance. 
companion tree next to a people tree if you are putting them next to each other there will be a lot of competition and both of them are not going to grow to their full potential at forest by heartfulness we suggest that if you are planning to make a forest patch we can help you do that by talking to you about the right species to be grown next to each other and after the trees have been planted forest by heartfulness also helps set up an aftercare team to look after the trees we should not let them be on the mercy of nature human intervention is required we have to provide the environment for them to flourish the forest by heartfulness team is a mix of volunteers and experts and testament to the efficacy of their methods is the transformed landscape of kanha shantivana Forests by Heartfulness has also partnered with many organizations and institutions to create patches of forests. The goal of the initiative is to plant at least 30 million native endemic trees across India by 2025. If you too are worried about climate change and want to do something for the betterment of the planet, you are welcome to come and participate in the initiative. We have successfully managed to grow and propagate many, many critically endangered and endangered species of plants from the rainforests of India. And now, Kanha Shantivanam is a Noah's Ark uh, and an ex-situ conservation center for these species. Heartfulness Institute is also extremely delighted to host the next four per thousand regional meeting Asia region coming up in February 2023. And I extend a heartful Welcome to all of you to be a part of it back in India and hope to see you all soon. Thank you very much. Thank you.